Imagine being a 16 year old girl who lost control of a car. In result, both parents being killed. On a rainy March night, Will's parents drank too much at dinner and asked her to drive them home. But they never made it. Will can't help but blame herself. Now, the only way she knows how to survive and control the pain is by secretly cutting herself. She now has to live with her 28-year-old brother, his wife, and their daughter in their crowded apartment. If she let herself, she'd drown in a world of pain. But she can't let that happen. She simply wouldn't be able to handle it. Not that kind of pain. Thankfully, she knows how to prevent such a thing. She reaches into the pocket of her robe, feeling for what she knows is there. She never takes her eyes off of them as she slices into her flesh. The blade bites so deeply as she almost swoons, but still, she should never stop looking at them. Her blood spouts vanishingly as his tears. It drips unchecked down her arm and onto the floor as Willow watches. Willow knows that she should leave at any moment they could look up, but she can't. She can't move. She can only slice deeper and deeper. The razor doesn't hurt her. Not really. Not like some things could anyway. Willow savagely slides out of it. But when Willow meets Guy, a boy as complicated and as sensitive as she is, the secrets written all over her body are revealed. Will she be able to trust him? And will he be able to help her get over her self-abuse?